Good morning, class. Today we're working with our soccer data file, and we're going to save that data file as postcard. Today we're going to learn how to change uh, and customize a page size, how to change orientation of our document, how to change the margins to narrow, how to insert a border, which we have done before, how to apply fill effects, and how to add a watermark. So let's get started. We're going to go to our page layout tab. We're going to change the margins to narrow. We're going to change the orientation to landscape. Make sure it's on landscape. And we're going to change the size of our document to 4.6. And what I do is I click on A6 first. And then I go back and click on more paper sizes. And I make sure that this is 6 and this is 4 and click OK. Alright, you don't have to do it that way. You can go to size and go to more sizes and change it that particular way. Okay, it's up to you how you want to do that. We're going to insert a page border. So we're going to go to the page border, um, to the page background group and click on the command page border. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure the point is three and a quarter point. And we want a double line border. So we're going to go to styles. We're going to scroll down until we see a double line border. And this is a double line border. We're going to click OK. Then we're going to click on our page color in our page background group. And then we're going to go to fill effects. And in fill effects, we're going to click on one color. And the one color that we want is red accent to lighter 80. So we click the drop down arrow and we're looking for red accent to lighter 80. And here it is. So we click on that. We're going to apply um, the di diagonal up because that's how we want the shading styles to be and we're going to click the vagrants in the right corner and we're going to click OK and those fill effects are now applied. And I think I forgot something so let me go back just to make sure um, that I didn't forget anything. Fill effects uh, we have up, we have the vagrants We want horizontal. I'm sorry. And click OK. That gives us just a different uh, look. We're going to add a custom watermark. So we're going to go to the page and background group. We're going to click on watermark. We're going to go down to custom watermark. The dialog box appear. We we click on text watermark because we're going to put in our own text where it says ASAP by text. We're going to put in the words YMCA and we're just typing them and we're going to put in the word soccer. Okay, and we want that to be uh, the words to go horizontally and we're going to click OK. And there we have YMCA soccer. Let's view this in our backstage view so we click on file we click on print and we see that we have a perfect document here you can save this and you can complete project 7-6 some of the same steps that are in 7-5 are in 7-6 so you can complete this on your own thank you and have a great day